I mean, like, we have a prohibition on murder, right? And we think, right, that you can think of it, there's a prohibition on murder. And I think we think there's, we haven't eradicated murder, but, you know, the point is there's not, if you, we haven't made the industry bigger, right? That's the problem here, right? That is, we actually made this a bigger industry measured by cost, total cost. We made, and when demand's inelastic, you're making the industry bigger as you, sh as you fight the war. That's the problem with the war on drugs in some sense, right? Is I go out to fight the war on drugs, in order to reduce quantity, I push up price, but I'm actually raising revenue for the industry, which is in some sense funding the guys on the other side, right? I'm sort of funding the opposition by giving them more revenue, right? Now I'm accomplishing my goal of reducing consumption, but I'm dragging resources into the industry, not pushing resources out. And the problem when the resources come in is twofold. One, that's just more resources, which is this triangle, rectangle. But also, the resources that aren't even getting counted here are probably proportional in some sense to the resources that are getting counted. So if I'm, if I'm not only dragging resources in, but the resources I'm dragging in are guys with bazookas and guys who are corrupting the government. All those resources carry costs with them too. So I'm really, it's, it's, that's what makes it so counterproductive. I'm making the industry bigger, and instead of spending that money on transportation costs and chemists and people to build the goods, they're spending it on all these other things that have costs associated. So these costs are worse than those costs. So there's not only more total cost, the types of costs that you have have more social problems. And it's funny, when you go to talk to people about the war on drugs, they say, well, why do we need to fight the war on drugs? Oh, God, war, drugs are so horrible. If we didn't have the war on drugs, we'd have rampant crime and all these gangs would take over the world. What do you mean gangs would be out of the business if we didn't have the war on drugs, right? The things you are calling the cost of drug consumption are typically, you just ask somebody at a cocktail party, all right, tell me all the bad things about drugs. Just let them list. Almost everything they'll list is the cost of the war on drugs, not the cost of the drugs themselves. They'll come up with a few things about the cost of drugs, but 90% of what they'll point to is the cost of the war on drugs, the consequences of it being illegal, not the consequences of the drugs themselves. Yeah. I think, it, I think it has a couple of, I think there does. I think there are a couple reasons. One of the things that probably is counterproductive again, I'll focus on the counterproductive since I like that side. Um, one of the things that makes it counterproductive is it, it often makes it more difficult for people who want to quit drugs to get the help they need because they risk, they risk you know, prosecution and other things. But also, they often disconnect themselves from their families because they have to go associate with all a bunch of people who are doing illegal stuff and their families aren't, that isn't conducive to staying connected to probably the people who are most likely to be able to help you. And that's not good. I mean, I, I'm a big believer that families are an important part of helping people deal with their own, will deal with problems. And if, if you tell me when I have a drug problem, I'm going to be more isolated from my family than I would be if it was a legal drug problem. I think that's going to mitigate people's ability. And that can raise demand effectively by making it harder to quit.